A new Legion Space update has been released by Lenovo, which contains many new features requested by the community. This brings Legion Space up to version 1.0.2.4, and I have been fortunate enough to test this update beforehand. Let's go over everything that has been added in the new update, which when you boot into Windows, Legion Space will download a controller firmware update for all the new features to work as intended. By pressing our Legion L button, accessing settings, the controller tab, we can choose the newly added adjust dead zone option. And using the toggle bars, we can adjust our joysticks dead zones for where you would like input to be registered for your own personal preferences in games. We can see this is working in first person shooters where I can use Half-Life 2 as an example, where I can change the dead zone by bringing up Legion Space, making my adjustment, and then minimizing Legion Space with the Legion L button again to see my change reflected. Below Adjust Dead Zone in our control panel, we now have adjust sensitivity for our joysticks and we are able to influence the X and Y axis sensitivity on both our left and right sticks by moving our two pointers between output travel Y and physical travel X. Working in tandem with our dead zone adjustments, I'm confident that these new sensitivity adjustments for the joysticks, we can all find a suitable personal preference. Coming back to our controller screen, we can also see a touchpad vibration toggle has been added, which is for feedback received on the touchpad when in use. We can turn this on or off according to our preference. Next is the switch button layout toggle that is a response to a lot of early initial feedback when the device launched, where a lot of users were unhappy that select and start were bound to the left controller instead of at the top at either side of the console. So, by toggling this on, we can now have our Legion Space menu buttons on the left controller and our Select and Start buttons on both sides, which I'm sure will be a relief for many of you. Also, we now have the ability to bring up the Xbox Game Bar with a new button combo, which is by pressing Legion L and the right stick at the same time to act as the Xbox Guide button. Moving on to the Legion R menu, we can now see battery indicators for the left controller, the Legion Go itself and the right controller, so we can check our battery capacity for all three whilst in game. On our controller tab again, we can see the addition of the touchpad vibration toggle being added here also. Moving over to the system quick settings menu, which was added in the previous update 1.0.2.3, a new option for Alton F4 has been added, which will close the application or game you are running at the time, if you require this function at any point, and don't have access to a keyboard. Before we finish, it has been discovered that whilst Legion Space is open, we no longer have unwanted inputs in games whilst making adjustments to our settings in either the Legion R menu or Legion Space itself. I hope this was a helpful rundown for Legion Space 1.0.2.4 and if you have discovered any bugs yourselves or have any feedback or suggestions for the team, please drop a comment down below and I will be able to relay this back to the Legion community team who can pass on this information to the Legion Space software team and by working together we can make sure this device only continues to improve further long term. If you would like to see what is coming for the future of Legion Go and Legion Space in 2024, please check out my other video listed in the description which will go over what the Legion Go team has planned such as the FPS limiter and adjustable fan curves. If you enjoyed this video please give me a like and subscribe to the channel as this tells me you enjoy the content and motivates me to create more content like this all for you in the future. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please post a comment down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Until next time, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you later.